Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. Um, if this eye get, looks puffy or red, actually both of them do, um, I just popped some contacts in and I've got eyelash extensions which I did yesterday and I'm a little bit allergic to the adhesive, like my, eyelid, my eyelids are quite puffy at the moment but it goes down after 24 hours so I just have to wait but my eyes are quite sore. Um, ideally I wouldn't be filming but I need to film. <laughs> I have to get some more videos up on my channel, so let's just get started. Okay, okay so first note, I'm filming without a mirror behind the camera, so if I'm trying to talk to you and you're not in focus, I'm really sorry, but I have no idea. Um, number two, I am listening to the Fletch, Vaughan and Megan podcast. They are hilarious. They are just so good to listen to. And if you can hear Fletch's laughing, I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, third note, I am going to try and do a look based on a picture I have screenshotted off Instagram. Or Pinterest I've got a couple of them on my phone that I find really inspiring so I really want to try mm. I think I might try and do this look here I hope you can see so it's quite dramatic and really glam it's got that purpley tones which I have been using a lot lately so please forgive me it's just with these colored contacts that I bought I can wear purples really well which is amazing because I've got normal normally quite hazel eyes which does not match well with purple so now I've got the blue it really matches so let's try and do that also, I don't know the artist. I didn't screenshot the artist's name. Sorry. I'm a terrible person. But I'll Google afterwards and I'll see if I can find the artist and I'll leave it in the description below. Fuck it, I'm going to do my foundation first just because my skin looks like absolute shit right now. The, the horrors of hormonal acne. Alright, so I'm using the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation in the shade 200 Soft Beige. Uh, right now my skin looks really pale in the camera. I did a little test shot to make sure you're in focus before. Um, so, I am using a darker foundation so that I don't get blown out in the camera because that happens a lot when I'm filming in the morning. And for the uh, concealer, it's the Rimmel Wake Me Up, like always. Uh, Rimmel Match Perfection Translucent Powder. Perfect, perfect. And then for my powder all over the face, I'm going to be using the Australis Fresh and Flawless in the shade Natural with a big fluffy brush. And then, different brush, several different brushes actually. Um, I'm going to take. The Chi Chi Highlighting and Contouring Kit in the shade number 5. And I'm going to contour and be very, very light about it because it can look like crap very quickly if I do it wrong. <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't look like shit. Okay. Okay. 
Um, and then for bronzer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. contouring and blush set in St. Lucia. And I'm going to bronze lightly because this bronzer is very, very warm. Dodgy, but we're just gonna let it slide. Alright, brows. I need to fix this eyebrow. Like, it looks good, but I need to take a little bit off the top so that the other eyebrow matches because this eyebrow looks amazing and this eyebrow looks like its gross, ugly stepsister. So ugly, but I it just won't grow any higher. <laughs> and this side of my face droops a little bit; it's a lot lower than the other side. So I need to do something about that. Chichi brow I made in medium brown, like always. That is done. I'm not going to finesse them. I can't be. I really can't be arsed finessing them too much today. I'm just going to go through with my brow gel just to really set the hairs in place. All right, brows are on. They look different to normal. I'm not sure what I did differently, but I'm just going to go with it. I am going to. No, it's not there. Uh, I'm gonna grab this brush here. It's a oh, filled with highlighter. Let's get rid of that. Um, I'm gonna go in with the highlighting contouring kit, and I'm gonna take the two and three these yellowy shades and go under my eyes because I'm creasing a little bit, and the coverage is shit. So. This is the MAC Mineralized Concealer in NW15 and this is going on my eyelid. This um, concealer is really good for cancelling out for cancelling out discoloration. Like, can you see how bright and awesome looking my eyelids are? Like, <laughs> all right, time to do the eyes, and I'm just gonna pop picture. Huh? Alright, because so I've got a few palettes that have these tones in them that I need for the picture. Um, but it's all going to be about building layers and layers of colour to really make it look cohesive, you know? Alright, so I'm going to start with this palette here. This is the Spices palette from Chi Chi. Definitely one of my favourites. It is so beautiful. Love them all. Love all the colours. I'm going to go in with this brown right here at the end. Right. 
to make it look, um, cause the look is extremely smoky. So we are going to blend right out and drag it both out and under. I will take the next shade in the Spices palette, which I've done quite a lot on this channel, which is <laughs> this colour here. God, I love this palette. Look how beautiful this colour is, like holy hell. Am I touching it? Yep. <laughs> this one's quite ready, but that's okay. Because that last colour was bullshit. I'm going to go into my dubious place, Nubian 2, and I'm going to take a bit of Jezebel. Now for deeper. What does the picture look like now compared to me? Okay. Okay. Okay, we need more darker colours. So, for that, I'm going to go to my 35P palette. Yep, here it is from Morphe. And I'm going to take a little bit of this one here. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. That is bloody pretty. Holy hell, this is so pretty. Now, what do I do now? Where's my picture? Thank god for the picture. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the crease, see that shimmery colour that matches the picture, and then I'll darken the outer, outer half. Yeah. yeah. I think that's what I want to do. So, I might just take a little bit of this. That's awesome. And this is just a lighter shade of my favourite foundation that I used today. This stuff is awesome, so I'm hoping I might be able to cut the crease with this. Let's try and do this. I've never done this before. Okay. 
okay not great but we'll just we'll wing it now i am going to have a little look here. all right first off i'm going to use colourpop fringe which looks like this am i wait sorry hang on all right sorry instead i'm going to use lala from colourpop Looks like this. It's not a sharp cut crease, but I will just deal with it because I can't be bothered figuring out how to do this properly. Uh, this one. One. All right, I'm gonna go in with a mixture of these two shades, these two shimmers, with a shade brush. I'm just gonna take the product dry, and I'm just gonna um, pack it on top of that uh, uh, ColourPop color so that it'll set. Okay, I need to hurry because I think my battery is dying, which is just annoying. Alright, black coal liner. I'll just chuck these lashes on, whatever. Alright, I'm just going to use these lashes. They're a little bit dirty, but that's okay. going to do a quick blush with this here. It's actually a highlighter but and then for highlight I'm using Aphrodite just so that it ties everything together. Okay so I fucked up and didn't realize how shimmery the rest of these shades are in this stupid highlighter. <sighs> My entire cheek is shimmery right now. It's alright, we'll make it work. Alright, look colour is Riot from Lime Crown. Not quite right, but I don't know what else I can do now. No, I've done it. It's still a pretty colour, but it just doesn't quite match, you know? That is better. Okay. I'm going to wait for this to dry and then pop the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Black Cherry on top. So I'll wait for that and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back and I have just applied the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick shade in Black Cherry and it definitely matches a lot better than the other colour we used. Like it just kind of ties everything together a bit better. Um, I'm really unhappy about how my cheeks turned out. I really fucked up with that blush but I really am just going to wing it and just let, just deal with whatever happens. <laughs> I will be a bit shimmery today, but that is fine. F final thing to do. Final thing to do. Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. 
spritz it all over and it will be finished. And we're done! I hope you guys like this look. If you've got any questions about it or if you enjoyed it, please leave a little comment down below. Thumbs up before you head off. Don't, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.